actually feel pretty good after you feel all right. finishing um, Dallas. Popo hiding over there. Look at him. There you go. It ain't rocket time. Is this recording? Yeah. Turn around and wave, ma. Okay, perfect. Like when you capture the little stuff. It ain't here. You gotta search for it. Right, so now we gotta connect. It. Thank you, love. Appreciate you. Uh, all right. So let's order this burger. and it's rush hour, so, all right, we gotta go.
Well, good humans, welcome back to the ride. It's been a nice little minute. How are you guys doing? You guys okay? Awesome. I've missed you guys. And uh, we got a lot to talk about. About to catch up on. Hello. So, uh, this is actually the first week without mom. And I don't know, I thought it would be fitting to come back this way. And uh, this was the last place we actually did anything with mom where we, we took pictures here. And uh, you guys know I'm pretty much wanting to record a lot of the family activity when we're doing stuff. And instead of me being upset and mad about what had happened, I'm trying to remember a lot of the fun stuff that we got to do with mom. And for those of you who know, you guys know my mother was the heart and soul of everything we did. She was the brains of our operation. And it just, it doesn't feel the same for me anymore. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I wasn't sure I wanted to come out and record anything. But I know she'd be pissed at me having, you know, my bike, AKA Dean. <laughs> oh, that's right. You guys didn't realize I named my bike yet, have you? I didn't tell you guys on the last episode and that was by an honest mistake. I thought I had clued you guys in, but I decided to name my bike Dean after my friend who died, you know, in July, AKA my little sister. But we'll get into that a little later, you know what I mean? So this was the place we came to to take family pictures. And it was my sister's idea to take family pictures. And I'm glad that she came up with it because this was the last place we did something as a family. And my mother and father got dressed. We all got dressed, even I wore jeans. You know, something decent to take pictures in. And it was pretty, it was a pretty okay day. Now, that one day we were taking pictures, it was kind of, it's kind of grayish, but it was nice outside. So, check it out. Here's some footage of us doing family pictures. That's mom looking extra, extra, extra beautiful to do family pictures. And we haven't done family pictures in a very long time. My sisters and my sister's fiance are out here, so we're gonna try to catch up with them and quite possibly hang out for a little bit. But you know, I, I just, 
I haven't been the same, you guys. And forgive me if I'm not that excited or, you know, I'm not really my usual uh, happy self. It's just, it hasn't been the same. And, it, you know, just trying to stay busy. You know, I'm trying to remember what my, my mom would say to me when I'm in these these particular moods and spaces like I am now she would immediately tell me don't start that crap <laughs> excuse me and I can tell you from my personal experience my mother would not want me to not be riding or you know doing anything that I would normally do because we weren't raised to make a fuss over a lot of stuff and we definitely weren't raised to be sad mad and angry and I'm you know trying to find the the good in everything and at least my mom's not suffering my mom was sick and those of you know my mom had been battling with you know kidney disease we're both we were both on dialysis and my mom's been in and out of the hospital for what since Thanksgiving last year and let me tell you how concerned she was for me. My mom had passed out in my arms while we were trying to get her ready for dialysis. She woke back up with the paramedics and told me to get off of my legs. She was more concerned about me standing up and being on my legs than her being okay. And that was the type of individual my mother was. So... Today, I figured we go for a ride and we just casually cruise, you know? I feel like I need to get back to doing what I do the best. And it hasn't been easy, but you know, I'm trying. I swear to you, I am. It's just, it's a different feeling now that a member of my family is no longer here. You know what I mean? So. We're gonna go try to find my sisters. And I'm gonna try to, you know, try to prep up a little bit and have a good time. You know what I mean? All right, let's go do a little exploring. And it is a dialysis day, so let's get it. No, no, no. When I say we, I that. it's Jimmy Thank you. Oh, that smell good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, you put some water in it, and eat it out. Did you get it out? Watch. Right, so Mother's Day was a success. It's <laughs> all good. Stop by, come hang out. 
Ooh, mother's face looking real fancy. <laughs> tell you, you know, this is a different experience entirely. I am not ready to, to make this type of an adjustment, but let me tell you, you know, it, it, when you've been in the same chair as your mother for almost 10 years, it is a weird, weird experience. Not knowing what the future holds without the person you've been with forever just about and I gotta be honest with you this is brand new for me but come on let's go to the car here and we're going to end the vlog in a very unique and specific way. We're going to end the vlog as if my mom were here and we're going to do the vlog like she would have me do on Christmas. I know Christmas is, you know, gone and all, but we're just going to do it like that and then I will see you guys for tomorrow's ride. You got it? So like I always tell you, disability is not an ability, right? All you gotta do is try. I think we tried. We did. We tried our absolute best. I'll see you guys for the next one. Love you guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Slavers read, are you listening in the lane? Snow's glistening, a beautiful sight. We're happy tonight, walking in the winter wonderland. Gone away is the Uber, it's day, it's an Uber. It sings a love song as we go along, walking in the winter wonderland. In the meadow we can build a snowman And pretend that he is passing around He'll say, are you married? Go say no man But you can do the job while you're in town Later on we'll come to spiral As we dream by the fire To face all the fray, the plans that we made Walking in the winter Wonderland, y'all say, y'all
to say no man You can do the job when you're in town Tick, 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 tick.